Hey everyone, the final chapter of Raid Finder is coming out, or by the time you're watching this, it has perhaps already been released. In this video, I'm going to show you the Gahoon fight from a healer's perspective, more specifically Holy Paladin. This will cover skills from LFR, Normal, and his heroic tactics as well. Please note that the footage I'm using is from a normal run. Holy Pallies, if you want to see what talents I used, you could pause the video now to check it out. Gahoon is an interesting fight that has essentially three stages to it. In the first one, players will fight against Gahoon's minions and not yet Gahoon itself. This phase ends when three power matrix orbs, aka basketballs, have been slam dunked into the reorigination drive. While in the middle, if you gain explosive corruption, as with many mechanics you've seen in the past, run to the edge of the room to drop down the debuff away from your group. Avoid virulent corruption orbs. They kind of look like oatmeal balls, because they could hurt and significantly damage raid members that get hit with them. Gahoon will be summoning adds that have to be killed ASAP. Essentially, healers need to support the group as they take down these adds. A player with Torment debuff will require some heals over time. The Dark Young ad will cast Dark Bargain at 100% energy. Keep a watchful eye on players affected by that debuff. As for players on the upper platforms, they'll be taking damage over time, so be sure to precast Hots, Shields, and pay attention to their health as they navigate to the Reorigination Drive. Once three Matrixes have been slam dunked, Reorigination Blast deals high damage to all players for 24 seconds. This causes enemies to also be stunned and take more damage. Healers, great time to use your major cooldowns, precast hots, and defensive abilities to keep your raid alive. After the re-origination blast is over, out pops Gahoon. Pay attention to the stacks of growing corruption on the tanks. The higher the stacks, the more heals they'll need. Avoid wave of corruption cast from Gahoon. If you get hit by it, you'll gain stacks of putrid blood, which is a stacking debuff. Healers, pay attention to the players with higher stacks of putrid blood. They'll need heals and defensives thrown their way. During the wave is another good time to use a major cooldown or a defensive ability to help out your raid. If you have stacks of putrid blood, you could run next to a player who's afflicted with blood feast, which will remove your stacks. By doing so, a gibbering horror will spawn, which will need to be killed or timed with the next reorigination blast. Explosive corruption continues into this phase. So again, if you get it, run away from the group and drop it off along the edge of the room. Stage 3 begins when Gahoon reaches 20% health. Growing corruption on the tanks, wave of corruption, and explosive corruption continue through to the end. Blood Feast does not, so if a player does gain stacks of putrid blood, they'll need extra attention as it won't be able to be removed. Run away from the collapse ability to reduce the amount of damage taken. When Gaze of Gahoon is cast, simply turn your character to face away from him or get feared. On heroic mode, avoid malignant growths that spawn around the room. So that's about it from my healer's perspective. If you have any questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my live stream at TV over on Twitch. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and see you soon.